Hi there, this tutorial will explain briefly about IPv6 subnetting. As a start, unlike IPv4 which requires you to borrow bits from the host portion, IPv6 has 16 bits or 4 hexadecimal numbers built into the address specifically allocated for creating subnets. A slash 48 address will allow you to have a single subnet or up to 65,536 subnets. Basic subnetting in IPv6 was designed to make subnetting a very simple process. Start at the slash 64 bit and start counting up until you've used all the available bits in the subnet ID. For global unicast prefix allocations, it is a best practice to subnet on the nibble boundary. Slash 48, slash 52, slash 56, slash 60 and slash 64. This tutorial only shows examples for the subnet on the nibble boundary. Let's say that your ISP has assigned you the 2001 colon ACAD colon 1234 colon colon slash 48. You can see the results. There are 65,536 slash 64 subnets in a slash 48 network. How do we subnet? Let's look at the solution. First thing first, we need to break up the nibble to binary. Start counting from the last nibble which is on the right. Don't forget to convert the binary to hexadecimal. You may refer to the binary hexadecimal table provided here. The subnet ID portion starts with all zeros and finish with all F. I hope you get the idea how to subnet. IPv6 subnetting is simple and easy. Let's look at another example. Next example. Slash 56. A medium end user might receive a slash 56 IPv6 address from their ISP. Now slash 56. There's still 8 bits available to subnet. You can see the results. There are 256 slash 64 subnets in a slash 56 network. How do we subnet slash 56? This time, we only need to count 8 bits. Start from all the empty binaries until all the binaries become 1. Let's look at another example. Next example. Slash 60. A small end user might receive a slash 60 IPv6 address from their ISP. Now slash 60. There's still 4 bits available to subnet. You can see the results. There are 16 slash 64 subnets in a slash 60 network. How do we subnet slash 60? This time, we only need to count 4 bits. Just use the same calculation method. Start from all the empty binaries until all the binaries become 1. It really is that simple. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial.